hello what is up everyone welcome back to a new video in this video we see how we can uh, pick images and videos from users device that are ex that exist in the internal storage and then uh, display them or do whatever we want with them so first of all let's see what we are going to build we're going to build this app that has two buttons one for picking images and one for picking videos if we try picking an image we will display it here if we try picking another image of course it would be displayed and if we pick a video we will go to this screen which is a video player screen and we can go back and pick a different video of course this is the, an EXO player uh, that has these diffs, these uh, default controllers this also respects configuration changes so if we uh, rotate the screen like this everything will still work fine and if we go back we still have the image we did not lose it so uh, this app as I said does respect or does handle uh, configuration changes so let's get started first of all we need uh, these libraries to for the video coil which is responsible of loading images and exo player the media tree exo player which is of course uh, a video player and then of course the media tree library that uh, also has the exo player and uh, the navigation compose library because we have two screens so we need to navigate to the second screen and navigate back to the home screen uh, that's it for the libraries uh, you can just uh, take them from the project that will be uh, that will be on github and i will put the url to it on the description you can just copy them from there and paste them in your project uh, that's it for the libraries so let's get started the first thing we want to do is to create the visual uh, the pick visual media request variable that of course is responsible of picking media so private var pick i'm just going to call it pick media like this is equal to register for activity result that has two generic uh, types First of all, the first one is, of course, it's type, which is the pick media request, uh, visual media request, which is this one. And the second one is the URE that we are going to get because eventually the media we're going to pick is just a URE. Its constructor require passing uh, an activity, uh, contra an activity result contract dot pick uh, visual media. This is what the what the, we are going to pass to the constructor, and then that's it. Here we are, we get a URE like this. This is the URE that we get. We can just write if check if it's not null. So if URE isn't null like this, and then we can do whatever we want with it here. So this is it for the. Uh, uh, pick media variable now let's start creating the ui first of all as we as i said we have two screens so we're going to create them uh, let's first create the nav controller that is responsible of uh, navigating between screens so val nav controller is equal to remember have controller this one and then a nav host where we're going to host our uh, both of our screens so a nav host like this uh, the nav controller of course the one that we just created I'm not sure why and then the graph we don't need a graph here we need a start destination where we are going to start we're going to start from our home screen so home screen like this the error will be gone right now like this and of course our screens are just composable so com composable uh, the first screen as i said is the home screen this is uh, it's our it's a uh, root so home screen and here we're going to create home screen composable we're going to call it here which is a function of course home screen and the second one we can just duplicate this line the second one is the video 
player screen so we can just call it video screen and we're going to name the function of it the same name as the uh, road after that we're going to create the home screen so the home screen is a composable of course so write composable annotation private fun home screen and it is a common as you saw in the preview i showed you of the app so it is a common uh it needs a modifier of course so modifier dot <coughs> fill max size and we're going to give it some padding 16 dp padding import dp and we're going to uh, uh align the elements inside it or the content uh in the center so horizontal sun horizontal alignment is equal to this one center horizontally so uh, all the content will be centered horizontally first we're going to create some space from the top using a spacer height let's say 16 dp and then we'll create the image i'm going to put the image view inside a different function so we're just going to call it display image like this i'm going to create right now and another spacer height 16 dp and then the buttons the two buttons i'm also going to create them in a different function so pick picking buttons like this uh, so right now let's create the uh, let's just create some space here let's create the image uh, composable because it's a composable of course private fun which is this is the name that we gave it and uh, to load images or before even loading images let's just create the ui before loading images which is i'm going to create a box with a modifier fill max width like this and then i'm going to uh, give it a height of 200 dp And I'm going to clip it so it has rounded corners dot clip round corner shape uh, 20 dp and I'm going to give it a background so dot background oops not there right here dot background to, I'm going to give it the primary container color so material theme dot color scheme dot primary container this is its background and then uh, and then I'm going to create an image inside here so image like this that takes a modifier to fill the, uh, the max size I guess I did not import this And then I'm going to uh, give it a content description. So it needs a content description like this. I'm just going to call it image. And the content scale to 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 uh, center the crop or center crop as we had in XML. So crop like this. So it fixes the uh, screen. And then a bitmap so because the uh, we're going to load the image as a bitmap so bitmap like this and right now i'm going to give it a bitmap so first of all to load the image uh, we need an image state which is an async image painter that we got from coil that as i said the library of loading images so var 
image state of type assign image painter dot state that is equal to remember assign image painter so remember assign image painter for the module I'm going to uh, give it an image request it needs an image request so image request dot builder this is how we can get it it needs context to get context in Jitpack Compose. We write local local uh, context dot current. This is we just give it context, and then the URL that it's going to load. So we we pass it by uh, the function data to the function data. I don't have a URL yet, so I'm just going to leave it empty like this till I show you how you can get the URL. And then the size, I'm just going to uh, give it a size, which is size.original. Dot .original like this, and then build it. So build. And uh, this is a state, so dot .state, because in here I mentioned that it's a state. So this is how we can load an image. And then to get the bitmap from that state, first of all, we need, we need to check if we have succeeded on loading the image. So if image state is assign image painter dot state dot succeed dot success if this is true then we successfully loaded the image and then we can get the bitmap so we just write image state dot result dot drawable dot drawable dot uh, to bitmap and to as uh, as uh, image bitmap that's how we can get the bitmap from from it we can give it a, a drawable or whatever we want here i'm just giving a bitmap so this is it for the image uh then uh, let's move on to the buttons Composable. So let's create the function private fun pick buttons, which is this one. And these buttons will be in a column. So column that of course needs a modifier. I'm just going to make the common Oops, modifier. I'm going to make the common wraps its content with so modifier dot wrap content with like this. Uh, so let's create the first button. Button. Uh, this is the on click. I'm going to add a modifier to it as well. So modifier modifier uh, dot padding. So we just need padding. So dot padding, we're going to give it, of course, horizontal padding. So we have some space between the text and the edges of the button. Horizontal, uh, 30 dp, dp like this. And in the on click, we'll do it later. Let's just first create the, the two buttons before we create the uh, on click. Here, uh, we have a text inside that button. So text. Like this, the text is just going to be big image. And the second button, we're just going to copy this one. This one is going to be pick video. After that, right now we see how we can pick an image first. So remember this uh, variable that I've created, which is pick vid, uh, media that is responsible of picking the media. So let's now pick an image first. So we can have a, a URL to the image that we can then load it using it. So to pick it up, we're going to write pick. So I seem to write these functions outside of the activity. So I'm just fix that real quick. I'm going to put them right now 
inside the activity like this so i can access the variable which is the pick media uh, for to pick that we need to launch it so dot launch like this pick uh, pick visual media request uh, dot builder uh, oops dot sit media type so what media do we want in here we just want image so we want to write image only which is this one and for video of course for video we're going to write video only and we can as well pick them uh, pick uh, both of them at a, at a time so if you write uh, here dot image in video but here we want image only and then dot build so this is it right now we can already pick an image uh, I'm going to just copy this for picking a video and write it here in the on click of this other button for picking video dot video only so right now if I click on the button I can already pick media so uh, let me I seem to have a little error here the app won't uh, I'm just going to delete this and the app won't uh, as I said won't launch to see what we have uh, picked up I'm going to write URE dot to string and let's launch the app let me pick something here you see this is the URL of the image that I just picked so you can use this url to actually load the image so see you in the next video